Uh, hello everyone, finally! MC Film was like part 4. I know part 3 was released 7 months ago, but that's not a long time. In any case, yeah, I did prioritise this over other projects that I'm working on, but still, I did, yeah. Okay, we are on to number 7, which is... I'm going to choose the number this. Which is Captain America the First Avenger. Yeah, number 7. Now, this film, I really, really liked. If this is number seven, then the rest of the films are going to be really good. Because this film, I thought, was very entertaining. And the story was good. And the, if this is the worst Captain America film, Captain America is probably... Well, yeah, it is probably the best of the MCU films. And if this is number seven... Whatever, I'm just much my mouth. I'll give it an eight out of ten. Eight out of ten, okay. I'm really gives it a six point. How does this even get six point nine out of ten? I know it's not the most popular MC film, but still, I think it should get higher than six point nine out of ten. That's just ridiculous. Number six. Now everyone's gonna kill me. Thor: The Dark World. I used to love this movie, and I had this like number two or something. Sorry, but yeah, it isn't. The, it's really okay. I know there's a vast contrast between all the stuff on Asgard and stuff, and all the stuff on. Earth in London, which is just like one scene, you've got Thor in the underground, and you've got a massive fight. It's like, this film is very choppy, and I don't know why. And the villain, Malekith, that guy there, isn't that good either. But I still really enjoyed this movie, and Loki is amazing. And, um, yes, I give it an 8.1 out of 10. IMDb gives it a 7 out of 10, which is better than Captain America, the first Avenger, which is quite a 7 out of 10. Hmm. Number... Five is Spider-Man Homecoming. Now, this film was really, really good. Really good. Entertaining, um, uh, like, it only came out last year, but it's still, it's amazing. And the villain, the vulture, is great. I just, this film was really, really good. And Iron Man, this is probably, okay, this is probably the film where Iron Man's used the best and is the best. Just purely because. And this is how you do Spider-Man. All the other Spider-Man series were not that good. But this one, like, I'm, the Amazing Spider-Man series was awful. And I didn't really enjoy the first series, original one. So, yeah, this is much better than the other ones. I would give it an 8.3 out of 10. And to me, it only gives it a 7.5 7 out of 10. I think it should get higher than that. Higher than 7.5 out of 10. That's ridiculous. Now, at number 4, I've got Captain America Civil War. Now, at first, when I saw this movie, it was my favourite MCU movie ever. It was amazing. But as time goes by, I started to like this film less and get... I don't know, I started to like this film a bit less as every next viewing. And I've, I haven't watched it in a while, but still. But it's still a very, very good film. And it's, it's just... My opinion of it's definitely worsened over time. But it's still a very, very good film. And fourth on this list, so yeah. And I give it an 8.5 out of 10. I'm the movie that only gives it a 7.8 out of 10. A 7.8 out of 10, which is a lot. I thought that would be more, like an 8. That's low for. That's lower than I thought it should. Would be and should be, but still. Whatever. Can't argue with that. Anyway, that is it for this episode. Yeah, um. Part 4. Now, part 5 will be the final part of this. I promise you that. Hopefully it's not seven months away, but I can't make promises like that. It'll probably end up being about a year away. Okay, I'll try and get it done within the next month, but whatever. Hopefully it gets really soon. Anyway, that's all from me. Bye.